watched on the airplane. And I'm watching on the airplane, and he's going through the fact that in the summer months, the sun never goes all the way down. Now, you've heard of Alaska and Norway being the land of the midnight sun, where in the summer, the sun never goes down. Or in the winter, they'll have months of just total darkness. Well, here's the thing. It's the same in Antarctica, same exact phenomenon where you have months of just total light and months of total darkness. Now, these flat earthers will sit there and say, oh, well, we have this model of the earth that works. It's a flat earth and it's like a disc. And then they show the sun like going around in a circle above the disc, going like this. The, basically, the sun gets closer to the middle in the, in the summer and then further out in the winter, okay? So in the winter, it's going around like the outside of the disc, and then in the summer, it's going on the inside of the disc. And they say, see, this explains all the seasons. This explains everything. <laughs> this explains Alaska and Norway and all the phenomena. But here's the thing. The southern hemisphere, again, is completely ruined because they don't even believe that Antarctica is real. So they believe that Antarctica, if you think about it, because remember, they're peeling the globe out. They basically believe that Antarctica is like an ice ring all the way around the outside. That that's the edge of the dome. You know, the dome and the disc. Because we're in a giant snow globe, according to them. So basically, you've got this ice ring. So in that model, then, if you're on the edge of that ring and they got the sun going around in a circle, you'd basically just have the sun go by you for a few hours and be in darkness the rest of the time. Think about it. Is everybody thinking? I know this is complicated stuff. But here's their disc, right? So if the sun's going around in a circle and you're on the edge of that circle in Antarctica, then you'd see the sun pass you by and then you'd have to wait a while, wait a long time to see it again. Sometimes it'd be closer than others, brighter than others, higher in the sky than others. But that's what it'd be. Well, this guy, I'm watching this film. Nothing to do with this foolishness of a flat earth. But I'm watching this film and I get around, you know, minute whatever and I nudge Paul and I said, Paul, this movie just disproved the flat earth. <laughs> because I said, the guy, this is what the guy does. The guy literally does a time lapse where he points the camera at the sun and he follows the sun all the way around for 24 hours. He shows the sun go around him and it kind of goes up and it kind of goes down, but it goes around him. Okay? So basically, think about this. If the Earth's a globe, which we know to be true, it makes perfect sense. He's on the bottom, he's in Antarctica, and so there it is. The sun's going around. Now, it's not that the sun's going around him, it's that the Earth's spinning. The sun's here, the Earth spins. So from his perception on the Earth, the sun is going around in a circle. It's the middle of summer. You can check the time. It's, uh, what, just after 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock midnight, though. documents it you can watch him do a time lapse where he shows the video of the town that they're in in antarctica and you can watch the sun go around it's like he, he condenses it down to like 60 70 seconds but according to the flat earth model that wouldn't happen that way but according to the globe that we know to be true 
It makes perfect sense.